Hey y'all, so here are last week's sales that I wanted to show you. I actually am going to start with a bunch of Bonanza sales that sold the previous week because I completely forgot to include them last week. Um, for some reason, my Bonanza sales spiked last week. I don't know if they got some publicity or what the deal was, but I sold four items on Bonanza last week, which normally I sell one a month. And I read on some of the... Um, Facebook groups that other people have had spikes in sales on Bonanza as well. So I'm thinking um, either they're getting better Google juice or someone did a story on them on TV, but yeah, whatever it is, it's okay with me. So I sold this Armani jeans winter coat for $39.99. That's what it was listed on eBay. And if you're not using Bonanza, basically it copies over your entire eBay store onto their platform and their fees are lower so buyers can buy the same item for a few dollars less so you see right over here i had it listed on ebay for 39.99 it sold on um bonanza for 37.39 so anyway moving along i also sold this uh, michigan state zubaz baseball cap it was brand new um sold that for 21 this was a lot of Singer vintage sewing machine attachments. I don't know what any of them did, and I said that in the description. I said, I don't know what all these items are. I don't know what machine they go with, but I think it's the Featherweight 221 model sewing machine. Um, what you see is what you get right here, and some of the pieces are rusty. That collection sold for 50 bucks, and it sold quickly, like within a week or two. Um, this is a like a cedar tie rack by Rochester, um, and that sold for twenty five. Back to the eBay stuff. I had this pair of leather isotoner gloves lined with cashmere, and they sold for twenty bucks. A vintage plaid. Actually, I don't know if it was vintage, but it was a plaid um, wool skirt by LL Bean. Sold that for twenty five. This I had kicking around for quite a while. It's a World War II era trench coat. Um, it has a removable wool lining. And um, there was some notable moth damage to the wool. Um, I'm not sure. Do I have a picture of it? I don't know. There's pictures in here somewhere of the moth damage, but whatever. Somebody purchased that for $50. This was a pasta maker. Normally I don't do kind of large, not large, but heavy kitchen appliances like this. Um, just because they're kind of a risk. You never really know if they're going to sell or not. But uh, I picked this up on a whim and listed it at 60 bucks, and it sold within about two weeks by Viante. This was a Samsonite um, garment bag. Sold that for 60 bucks, and I just happened to have a box that it fit perfectly in, which was awesome. So that was easy peasy. Then I sold this glow-in-the-dark eagle puzzle for 20. It was new in the box. Sold another Samsonite um, it was like a zip around three ring binder thing made of leather. Um, I guess normally they come with a calculator inside, but this one didn't have the calculator and it sold for $25. This is a Northwest Airlines mug. As you know, Northwest does not exist anymore, so it's kind of collectible um, for $20. This I'm having some issues with. Um, as you can see here in my listing, I always list the brand name in capital letters first, so there would be no confusion about what this item is. Um, I did describe it as Burberry Check. You can't quite see it because the screen gets cut off. But um, here are my pictures. I've got one main picture of the scarf. I've got this picture of the fringe and the label, which clearly says Glen Husky, and a close-up of the label, which also says Glen Husky. In my description down here, I say, buy Glen Husky, Burberry check in quotes to describe the print of the plaid. Now, 
the buyer has opened a case against me saying that I claim this was a Burberry scarf. And as you can see, there's nowhere in here where I say this is a Burberry scarf. I don't make any claims to that. I do put it in quotation marks that this is called Burberry check plaid. But um, I kind of, you know how when you sort of anticipate trouble from a certain buyer just based on, you just get a feeling, like a gut feeling. And I knew the minute the person bought this that they were going to be trouble. And so they have opened a case against me. I don't care if they return the thing. Go ahead, return it. But she's demanding that I pay for her return shipping because it was item not as described. I called eBay and they said, well, you don't have to do anything. You've offered to take a return and that's fine. Just wait it out. And if she wants to escalate it, then we will step in and inv investigate. And I'm totally cool with that. If eBay wants to investigate, they're going to clearly see that I made no claim that this is a Burberry scarf. And I actually look forward to it. So we'll see if she actually returns it. Um, that is ongoing, but that sold for 30 And seriously, do you think I would sell a Burberry scarf for $30? Really? I'd be looking at like 150 But anyway, I'm not bitter or anything. I had these um, cargo shorts, men's pair of men's cargo shorts, size 52. I've got a bunch of these in size 50 and 52. So definitely a specialized um, buyer for that. Sold these for $25. I sold this Liberty of London silk scarf, um, and this went, um, it went by a global shipping, but I can't remember where it went to, but that sold for 25 I sold a Dallas Mavericks hat for 20 that was brand new. These paper Halloween bats, there were a total of 240 of them in all. Um, I think they were going for like a school party or something somewhere. So that was awesome. Got rid of those. And that were all my sales. That was all my sales. Those are my sales for last week. Thank you for watching. And I hope you come back next week. Have a great Halloween, you guys. Today is Halloween. Go out there and enjoy your sugar. Later.